Okay, fine. Jesse, can you go really close to the camera and show how cracked your nose is? <laughs> it's so oh God. frightening. Tonight's matchup. This is Share Your Screen. The only video call you want to be on. Three rounds, two competitors, one winner. Here's your host and judge, Marissa Roberto. Joining us today is producer of Digital Sports Center and almost winner of a basketball quiz, Christopher Hine. What's going on, buddy? I was robbed in that quiz, but that's that's a whole other story. Of oh, these worth four? <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> Come on! And then we have Salty Fanboy, aka the Lobster, aka the Squid, Jesse Pollock. What's going on? I don't know what you're wearing. I mean, it's always something new with you. Oh, I mean, this is my artsy look. Today's subject is best sports photo, and we're going to start with a coin flip because uh, we need to decide who's going to go first here. So I'm going to use the coin flip app. We are in no way sponsored. Chose the Canadian dollar. Uh, Jesse, what are you going with, buddy? Tails never fails. Let's do it. I'm flipping. It tails. Wow. Jesse actually pulls off the dub on this one. Okay, Jesse, time to share your screen. This is Muhammad Ali knocking out Sonny Liston, okay? Such an epic photo. You just see Muhammad, everything that Muhammad Ali captured so well in this picture, just dominant. He, he was the man. And this photo has been used in pop culture in so many different ways. I've seen so many cool shirts with it and there's massive posters of it. And it, how, how could you not include this in your top three? Seriously. Okay, so honestly, I, I like this photo, Jesse. I looked at it as well. Uh, Neil Liefer is a former SI cameraman, the guy who took it. He's amazing. It's a great photo, but I'm gonna say it's not even the best photo that he's ever taken. My first photo is another photo by this same guy and also a photo of Muhammad Ali. So here is my screen share, as you can see. This is the better Neil Liefer photo and the better Muhammad Ali photo. Uh, this is from his fight with Big Cat Williams. It's taken from 80 feet above ringside. Uh, it's Ali from above as he walks away triumphantly with this guy down on the ground in pain. Listen, uh, I'm just going to weigh in here. I I would have to agree with Chris in that <laughs> this what? photo... No, no, Come just on. just hold on a sec. Jesse, it's not even against you. Like, I, I, It's not even my bias against you. This is... The photo that you shared is a photo that everybody knows. Everybody's seen it. It's up in like every single boxing gym. It's been on t-shirts. You've been, you've seen it enough, right? With the photo that Chris shared, I, I don't even know if I've ever properly looked at this photo and seen it for all of its glory. And to see it like this in front of us in a way presented the way he has, I feel like he kind of takes this one. Like, that, 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 one. Look, look at the that, glory of it. Look at it. That, look at the majesty of it. How did he even get that shot at that time? That, that was such a a poor explanation as to why. <laughs> oh yeah, Jesse. Like I've seen your picture literally everywhere because it's the greatest picture ever. But here's a picture that Hein presents that I've never seen before. But hey, it's a better picture, so I'm just gonna go with it. Think of the. Are that you looking that, at the? Sh are you looking at the shot? Look at how perfectly zero, framed it is. How did he get it? How did he get that shot at that time? That looks like a drone shot. There were no story, drones then. The story of, of behind. So the what? In a priest fight, he basically set a camera up above the ring and took some photos and got a good one. But then he was set up for this next fight and then captured this wicked image. But yeah, it's like a drone shot before drones even existed. It's a, it's amazing. And like, Jesse, the, the photo you did is wicked. The way that he yeah. captured that, he basically did that move in like a split second. So for him to capture that in the listen fight is great. But this is just like, art, you, you're the one who's all artistic with your scarf and your stupid sunglasses. You should be able to appreciate the artistry of that photo. I mean, yeah, the artistry is great, but I just wouldn't call it a better one than the one that I chose, if I'm being totally honest with you. Well, but that's why you're not the judge and Marissa is, so. But it, 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 yeah, well, well can, I, can, I, can I get another judge in here? Because Mar Marissa's explanation didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I just feel like when you're going to stop and stare at one longer, it's going to be the one that Chris sent. Second photo, screen shared. Take a look. <laughs> So this photo, this is an iconic photo. This is TJ Ford from the 2003 draft. I'm sure you've all seen it. This is probably my favorite sports photo. The clothes are just so big for a man that is so little. Those shorts are almost at his feet. 
I, I went a little more of the funny route. The My first photo was more of my strong sports photo. This is just like, if, if, if Marissa as a judge says that TJ Ford loses, then I will probably go the Jesse route and call out her judgment. But TJ Ford, 2003 draft, my favorite sports photo of all time. Okay, when are you guys not going to absolutely destroy my judgment if it's not against you? I don't understand that. Like, can you just not, like, can you just let me live my life? It really, it really, it really does make me feel something as well. Um, it makes me feel funny. It makes me laugh. It makes me, you know, you know, it makes me smile. I look at this and I'm like, wow, like I really understand what this, what this photo is trying to convey here. And it's that, you know, apparently not all people are capable of wearing clothes that fit them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great one and everything, but let me just share my next photo because I think that, hey. you know, it's not, it's not quite in the same category as yours. I think if I lose this round, there's something wrong. There's something wrong with with world, and I and I question art as we know it uh, today. This is this is, in my opinion, maybe the greatest photo ever taken. Like it is so. You want to talk about you want to talk about a photo that strikes emotion. This just just look at Bobby's face here. Okay, how often do we see athletes caught airborne after scoring one of the biggest goals in their respective sports history. The guy looks like Superman in it and it's in black and white and I have a signed photo of it at my home and uh the other Canadian. <laughs> and his and, and and his clothes fit. I'm just gonna counter I'm gonna say it's it's not even the best airborne sports photo and I'm gonna do a bonus sharing of my screen. If you look now this photo of Dennis Rodman this is actually you, wait, 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 wait. You, you, you cannot take away from my photo with another photo that's not in your top three. That's not allowed. No, just I'm just, describe I'm just, it. I'm just conversing and I'm just saying this photo. No, you're, was, you're, you're not conversing, you're cheating. <laughs> yeah, Chris, how did you have that on the ready like that? Like, how did you? Whoa, whoa, what's the, what's the jab with that? I'm a fan of battle rap, and a key in battle rap is knowing you got to have the flip game going. Shout out to Sharon and all of those great freestylers. I knew Jesse was going to come with that Bobby Orr picture. So I'm like, you know what? I am going to come with a stronger airborne picture. And that's where we see Rodman right now. But yeah, Jesse, you are right. This is not the rules. That is not my photo. But I am just having extra ammo to show why my TJ Ford picture is better than your Bobby Orr picture. Well, that, that, why does that make your TJ Ford picture better? <laughs> <laughs> Jesse is like, I feel like he's frantically looking for some kind of rebuttal photo. Yeah, he's trying to find oh, an if, other side. If you're going to say that that Dennis Rodman photo is better than Bobby Orr's photo, you're out of your mind, man. Take a hike. Yeah, you know what, Chris? I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to agree with Jesse on this one. You can't do that, and I feel like your oh! your bias. I feel like your bias for basketball is is just heavy here, and that's not and that's not fair either. You can't just like replace one iconic hockey photo with one iconic basketball photo. Uh, it's I not fair. Wait, 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 wait. That that is not nearly as iconic. May I add? Uh, of course, the thing is here is that Chris shared a, a photo that was being taken for photo day and Jesse shared an iconic moment that happened, right? So we captured a moment, which is already going to tug on my heartstrings. Number one, because obviously he's a Canadian icon, Bobby Orr. Uh, unfortunately, he's wearing the wrong jersey, but... He's wearing the wrong jersey. He's wearing the wrong jersey. Bruins! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Whoa! Um, outside of that, it's just a moment that I feel could like this, every... I'm sorry, could, could this judge be any more biased? Like, I'm, what? I'm, I'm sorry. She voted for you. Why are you saying she's biased? I know, like, you're... Well, like she, just because she likes hockey, it doesn't mean that it should be the better photo. It's just the better photo because it's the better photo. Uh, Jesse, buddy, I'm going with you. Wow. Wow. Okay, we're tied up at one. Round three, last photo. Jesse, share your screen. No, you know what? I'm going to let Hein go first for this. <laughs> so I'm deferring. So I'm, all, yeah, I'm, de I'm deferring. As the winner of the last round, I am deferring. But, but here's the thing. We alternate. So the smart move would have been if you would have deferred at the coin at the beginning of the game. The, like, uh, the Seahawks can't win the coin toss, get the ball in the first half, and then in the second half be like, no, 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 we want the ball now too. You chose wrong at the beginning, so you're first. <laughs> just go hon uh, i will accept you're you're just bending the rules but because you think there's a bias i will okay uh, there's no bias i literally chose one from each of you i don't i don't even know how you can still tell that here is my third photo as you can see not something you've seen a lot of 
But yeah, Marissa's face sums it up. That is a man who has turned his body hair into a Joe Maurer jersey. You see? You, jerseys are expensive. Players change teams. No need to buy one. Just have the requisite amount of Whoa. body hair and Wait. shave that in. That is that that right there is defines fandom and passion, grossness, weird hair. Imagine when he sweats what that back jersey hair looks like. Ew. What are we talking about? Are we talking about the funniest photos in sports history or are we talking about the greatest photos in sports history? Just one second here. Just the anticipation is killing me. I mean, if this doesn't beat whatever you just showed, I would be shocked. Do you even have it? Are you certain? Oh Did you just Google Three search minutes. right now? I got it. Oh, this. Oh. Really? Yes, 100%. It's the greatest photo ever taken in sports. You literally said that whatever the photo you shared. No, 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 no. This is my number one. This is why I saved it for last. It's an animal. It's a goat. He's the greatest of all time. It's Jeff Boogaboo. Jeez, big oh, butt, big go. butt, big hands. You're just a pretty big man. Big, big man over here. <laughs> you know that this audience too, obviously the Barn audience loves Books. We even formed an NHL Ishil team called the Bukaleles. Like we, we obviously hold Jeff Bukaboom as an iconic figure. We raise his banner up in the Bardon office. I really think it's unfair that you're placating to the to the to the audience this way to make us to it's just what it is. He's pandering. Well, it yeah. is what it is. No, it you're is. you're yep. fully pandering. It's not fair. With, Chris could have gone with the Bukaboom picture too, and he decided not to. Instead he decided to go with some guy's hairy chest and back. <laughs> Well, we didn't see the chest. <laughs> Back it is. All right, Marissa, can we get your judgment? This is this this round is not fair at all because obviously I absolutely hate yours, Chris. It's grotesque. Um, I, I don't want to stare at this at all. It's so nasty, but it's also you know creative. Um, somebody took the time to actually make Mauer look decent. Like the letters are perfectly done. The number the two, he, he has. He he he's an absolute bear. This guy. I don't even know. Like, like, did it grow when it grow grew back? Did it all grow back like extra coarse? Like, does he have a mower permanently kind of on his back with the way his hair grew back? I don't know. I want to know more about this guy, but I also find it disgusting that he did this in the first place. I'm just gonna make a decision here, and uh, I know it's gonna get me into some trouble in the comments, but I can't think that way. Um, Chris, I am absolutely disgusted by your photo, but. It's an image that now will be burned in my memory forever, and because of that, oh I yeah, because that it. makes it such a great picture. All right, so that's it for episode one of Share Your Screen. Christopher Hine is the winner this time. Try not to be too mean to us in the comments because we didn't choose a photo that you wanted, but feel free to let us know what you think. I could never unsee that Mauer Harry back ever again, so we apologize for that. <laughs>